Media and money. Broadcasting of news is a very expensive affair. A TV studio along with lights, cameras, sound recorders, etc. costs a lot of money. The technologies that mass media uses keep changing and a lot of money is spent on getting the latest technology. As a result, most newspapers and television channels are part of big business houses. On the other side, it earns money by advertising different things. You must have noticed the number of advertisements that you have to see while watching any television programs. Right to Information Act 2005 Right to Information Act 2005 has been enacted by the government of India to provide right to information for citizens. It implies that people have the right to know everything that affects their lives. This act was passed to secure access to information under the control of public authorities. This promotes transparency and accountability in public domain. It includes the right to inspect the work, documents, records, taking notes, extracts or certified copies of documents. But this act also exempts certain categories of information from disclosures. Any public authority would designate Central Assistant Public Information Officer CAPIO at various levels who will reply either by providing the information or rejecting the request within a period of 30 days from the date of receipt of the request Tamil Nadu was the first state to have passed the Right to Information Act in the year 1997 advertisement advertising is the technique used to bring products services and opinions to public notice for the purpose of persuading public to respond towards the advertisement advertisements draw our attention to various products and describe them positively so that we become interested in buying them advertising has become an important industry and has changed completely under globalization the headline of an article in times of india once stated that children are the new consultants on home consumption says new study the report further stated that 87% of the children spend time watching television and 66% of them have a brand preference according to this report they make decisions on durables holidays and even insurance policies tv is their prime source of knowledge advertisement thus have come to educate more than anything else in an age of consumerism promoting sales is the most important motive of a large enterprise it adopts various methods to attract consumers to buy more and more commodities or products manufactured by it advertisement is the method through which this goal is achieved in modern times the competition is very tough as there are various brands in the market struggling to capture consumers attention advertising serves to create a demand for the product for which it wants to generate a market many companies expand business by creating new markets and expanding it in rural areas they also ensure that demand for their goods does not become weak and continues to exist over a longer period of time it establishes a relationship between the consumer and the company advertising simplifies the choice of consumers and makes consumers aware of several brands available in the market they make them conscious about the price and the special features of various products hence they can make a decision more easily about the product they wish to buy after doing a comparative study of all the goods producers know that they must maintain the quality of their product if they want a steady demand for their articles therefore consumers get good quality products at fair price brand values and social values advertisements have become an integral part of our social and cultural life we often judge people according to the brand of the products they use branded dals cost much more than dals that are sold loose in the market as it includes the cost of packaging and advertising and many people cannot afford them however because of the advertisement people who cannot afford branded dal begin to feel that they are not treating their guests properly gradually they may come to believe that only branded dals are good and would want to buy the dal that comes in a sealed pack rather than that which is sold loose sometimes similarly 
Sometimes personal sentiments and emotions are utilized in promoting particular brands. It can be seen in the Care Soap advertisement. As a mother, if you want to show that you care for your child, then you should buy this expensive soap. The advertisement tells the mother that her love and care is best shown by using this particular brand of soap. Mothers begin to feel that using this soap is a sign of how much they love their child. In this way, advertisement uses mothers' emotions to sell expensive soaps. Mothers who cannot afford these expensive soaps begin to feel that they are not giving their children the best care. Often our favorite film stars and famous cricketers also try and sell products to us through advertisements. As our heroes tell us that a product is worth buying, we may feel tempted to buy these products. Moreover, advertisements often show us images of lifestyles of rich people and seldom show us the reality of people's lives that we see around us. Consumerism Advertising creates a demand for the product by making consumers aware that it is available in the market. It often identifies a unique selling proposition USP, of a product and tries to communicate it with the users. Retailers do not have to bother about providing storage facilities. Besides, they get immediate returns on the money they invested. Since goods are manufactured on a large scale, the cost per unit of manufacturing a particular good is reduced. If the company that manufactures a product has a reputation, the product acquires a brand name and develops a steady market. Modes of Advertising The basic medium of advertising is newspaper, which offers the advertiser large circulations and the opportunity to alter their advertisements on a regular basis. As magazines are aimed at specific readers, they offer the manufacturers of product of particular interest the chance to make contact with their most likely consumers. The other advertising media include direct mail, which make a highly detailed and personalized appeal, outdoor posters, transit advertising, which can reach the million of users of mass transit systems and promotional items such as calendars. Types of advertising Commercial advertising During the British rule, the main focus of advertising was only on the press advertisements, in which the British administrators and princely families were offered luxurious goods and other services. In the 1930s, the radio and cinema emerged as popular means of advertising. In the 1950s, the growth of industrialization led to mass production of goods, which also resulted in the expansion of advertising industry. With the emergence of Indian middle class after independence, the focus of advertising shifted from status-driven goods to convenience-driven consumer goods. Another form of advertising called consumer advertising is widely practiced by merchants and vendors on streets. They appeal directly to the buyers, consumers, by shouting. Social advertising Advertising with some social message or which seeks to promote important social issues such as family planning, communal harmony, national integration, respect for female child, cancer awareness, etc is called social advertising. Some of these advertisements can be powerful educational tool 
like the eradication of AIDS, energy conservation, deforestation and pulse polio, etc. Advertisers do have a moral duty towards society in general and consumers in particular. They must not allow the Western concepts and ideas to dominate their perceptions. Consumer awareness has also increased with globalization. People want products of good quality. If they feel cheated, their grievances can be addressed at the consumer forums. Poor quality products, incorrect or misleading information in advertisements, adulteration of goods are some of the issues that can be taken up by the consumer forums. The government has passed Consumer Protection Act to protect the rights of the consumers. Some advertising is simply and deliberately untrue. The exercise of right of information demands that the context of what is communicated be true. Consumers have the right to know all about the products and its ingredients. Instructions and warnings written on the products should be clear. Sometimes advertising can violate the dignity of consumers as it is directed at children apparently to exploit their innocence. Some of the basic rules that should be kept in mind while advertising are as given here. The advertisement should conform to the laws of the country. It should not go against morality and decency. In case of commercial advertising, the information to consumers on matters of weight, quality, price, manufacturing date, etc. must be correctly given. It should not include derogatory reference to another product or service. Trivia William Bolts, an ex-employee of the British East India Company, attempted to start the first newspaper in India in 1776. Trivia United News of India is one of the primary Indian news agencies. It began its operations on March 21, 1961, though it was registered as a company in 1959 itself.